It just I don't, look. So many artists use Nexus and Omnisphere that it's almost like I can tell when an instrument comes from Nexus and Omnisphere. Like they have a sound to it. They have a sound. It's like a. It's all like. I feel like it's a. You know when Young Thug and um, Future and like Two Chains and all these guys were popping off like in like the early 2010s, right uh, in Atlanta. I feel like the sound that came out of that was like all Omnisphere, Nexus, uh, uh, and like sounds that are around that, you know, very similar to that. And then now everybody to, who wants to replicate that sound all does that same sort of thing. And Omnisphere and Nexus are like the two closest things they'll get to that. And I, I know there's a couple others, but um, they'll just like go in on, on, on these two, uh, particularly Omnisphere is what I see all the time. Omnisphere is probably the most popular one. But it's like, it's so common to see like, I don't know, I just feel like I can, even though I don't make music like that, I, re I feel like I can tell at this point when something is from Omnisphere or not. Maybe it's placebo, it probably is, probably is, because there's so many VSTs out there. But I don't know, man, but if I watch, if we watch a few videos, I, I feel like you guys would be able to tell too. It's got a distinction to it. I wonder if other producers feel the same way. I'm sure they do. They have to, they have to, they have to know like how these things sound. They probably hear repetitive notes all the time. I, I hear things in, in beats that people make uh, that I'm around and I, I go like, oh, that's a pretty cool instrument you got there. And then I hear the song, uh, like I hear a song that Migos drops the next year and I'm like, wait a second, you use the same instrument. It happens all the time.